UFO videos are a difficult one to prove authentic. Online, they generally fall under two categories. One being the videos are clearly fakes and often very poor ones at that. Two, the footage is of such poor quality that you can't really make out what's supposed to be showing. When something comes along that doesn't fall into any of those two categories, and could very well be a genuine UFO, they still usually always get labelled as fake on the internet. This is often down to the fact that the people viewing them don't perceive the uploader to be credible enough. While rare, there are instances that pique people's attention when it comes to UFOs, and that's when governments and military talk about them. One case was when the Mexican Air Force intercepted multiple objects in the sky, matching and at times outrunning the military jets with speed. What makes this particular case compelling is the fact it was captured on infrared cameras by high-ranking members of the Mexican Air Force, including a lieutenant and a major. These men put their jobs and reputations on the line when they announced to the world what they had seen in the skies above Mexico. On the 5th of March 2004, while out on routine patrol looking for drug traffickers over the city of Campeche, the Mexican Air Force spotted a number of strange objects showing up on their radar and infrared cameras. Strangely, the radar was reporting three objects in the sky, yet the camera showed more in total, they could see eight objects. The objects were matching the speed of the aircraft and the altitude of around 11,500 feet. During this brief encounter, which lasted around two and a half minutes, the pilots continued to track the unknown objects, which were moving at very high speeds. The pilots said the objects were all around them, circling them like they were going to attack. This is the actual footage captured and released by the Mexican Air Force. A ver, a ver, ¿qué tenemos? Nada, señor. A ver, permítame, déjale, busco. ¿Y nosotros? Comandante, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué distancia más o menos lo tenías, Tellez? ¿Eh? Oye, te ha... a ver, abusado, eso es como... Ahí van más. Van más, siguen más atrás. Son 10, 11 objetos. Son, como uno, son muchos objetos. Afirmativo. Ahí van. Va, uno. Uno. Y ahí van los atrás. Siguientes. ¿Qué es eso? Dios mío. ¿Qué es eso? A ver, trata de enfocar. El máximo. Ok, no dejes que lo dejen atrás. Ok. Van. Sigue ese, no lo dejes. Este, no, van todos, van aproximadamente como 10. Como ¿Ya, lo dio? ¿Ya lo dio? ¿Qué van pasando? Tú van a dejar, no, 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 no. Sí. Ahí van. Ahí van. 3, 4, 5, 6 Son 6 Abajo o arriba o arriba En medio ahí van 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Que barbaridad eh? Ahí se van a ver bien Y van a una velocidad pero 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 en la pantalla Síguelo, no lo cierras ¿Están a la misma altura este Tellez? Afirmativo. Un poquito, arriba, arriba. 8, 9, 10, 11 contando toda la cola. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Porque no sabemos qué estamos viendo, son unos objetos nada más luminosos que vienen a la misma altura que nosotros. Que no, no podemos saber qué distancia. ¿Por qué nos vienen siguiendo? The unknown objects eventually disappeared from radar and infrared cameras simultaneously. 
never to be seen again. The pilots were definitely shocked by what they had seen, but I don't think any of them at the time would have thought that they had probably just caught some of the most compelling UFO footage ever recorded. To the world's surprise, on the 12th of March 2004, Mexico's Defense Department called a press conference where they acknowledged the strange event had occurred over Campeche. The Defense Department also played the footage of the exchange to everyone in the room. People were clearly shocked by this, maybe not by the actual footage itself, but the fact that a government had gone on record saying this is what happened and we have proof. Also present at the press conference were the fighter pilots involved who had witnessed it. Their willingness to answer any and all questions about the incident was a surprise. A lieutenant was asked if the strange experience scared him, to which he replied, yes, I was afraid we were facing something unknown, something that has never happened before. One of the other pilots was asked if they thought what they saw was another aircraft, to which he replied, I honestly couldn't say what it was. We saw it in the sky and I think it was very real. Major Castino was asked if he could explain in his own words the events that happened on that day. He said once the objects were visible in the radar, they began to pursue them. He believed the strange objects knew what was happening and that once the fighter jets backed off from them, they disappeared as quickly as they had appeared. Well-known skeptic Michael Shermer thought it was so fake that he went on live TV multiple times denouncing the pilots by saying that they didn't even see the objects until they reviewed the footage later. He said so their claims that they were in pursuit of these objects were a complete lie. Michael's claim was swiftly countered when the audio recordings of the pilots was released. In the audio, you can hear them talking amongst themselves about what they are seeing, even going as far as counting the objects in the sky. You can also pick up from the tone of their voices that they are very nervous about what they are witnessing. Scientists and skeptics have come up with a number of theories about what could have been the cause. One of them was called ball lightning. However, this was ruled out very quickly for several reasons. The main one being that ball lightning happens close to the ground. The recorded altitude of the objects was 11,500 feet. This was also backed up by local weather forecast stating that the conditions in the area were not right for ball lightning. A meteorite broken up was another popular story used to try to disprove the video evidence. A meteor breaking up would obviously be very bright, but it wouldn't stay in formation and at a continuous altitude hovering in the sky. Space junk was also theorised, but this, like the meteorite theory, was ruled out pretty quickly as it would be coming crashing down to Earth, not hovering at 11,500 feet. The footage is proof that we are not alone. This is backed up by the Mexican government and military officials who had nothing to gain from this but everything to lose. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video, we have much more to come.